Welcome everyone. This is your host, Immune to BS. Hey, the title of this video today is The Sun and the Moon, You Cannot See Light. Now, if that title didn't grab you right off the bat, I'm not sure what will. But what I'm going to show you here, play a couple of videos for you, a little commentary. It blew my mind, and I think it'll blow your mind too. I want you to consider this for a moment. Do you see light? Or do you see what is reflected by the light? No stars. Okay, so that was the first that was the first tip off. And um, so then um, you can see the You can see light reflected off of objects, okay? As we look in this space, we, we say, this place is filled with light. We do not see any lines of light between us. Mm -hmm. We only see what is illuminated by the light, what the light reflects off of. We do not see the light itself. There, you see that laser beam? Right. No, you don't see the laser beam. You see the laser beam? No, it's because it's off. <laughs> Boy, right that, every time. That worked every time. Man. Okay, you can see where the. Okay, between between you and me. No. No, it's not there. You cannot see light. Okay, it's really important to understand Sometimes this. Sometimes you can see it. Oh, that's right. You see the dust. You can. You see the dust particles. Right. right. You see only what light reflects off of. So when you actually look at a source in outer space, it is not transmitted. Light is not transmitted in the visible spectrum in outer space. Period. So then how would the Hubble telescope they can It will it? blind you, but you can't see it. So the they do need those damn gl gl so basically gold you reflectors. But you can look straight at the sun, not see anything, and, get, and, and you're blind. It is not visible. Well, the, the word telescope has to have some kind of lens. Where light it needs a, a, diffra a diffraction lens, okay? What, what, um, what really sealed the deal for Tom Brown uh, in his research is he found one of those, um, you know, coffee table, you know, like, you know, 18 by 24, you know, uh, you know, coffee table things, you know, that cost, you know, 500 bucks. It had 400 pages in it, 5,000 photographs of the sun. It was, it was shown in every spectrum, you, you know, gamma rays and infrared, and x-rays, you name it. There were, in that book, put out by NASA as like the definitive study of the sun, there was not one single photograph in the book of the sun in the visible spectrum. None. It was taken from outer space. Taken Not from, taken from outer space. Right. No. What you see is the refraction of the sun in the upper atmosphere. That's all you see. That is not what it looks like. And the minute you get out of the atmosphere, you got no, no reflection between you and it. You can't see it. So if you took a, <clears throat> if you went in outer space and took a pinhole camera with just raw photographic film on the back. Something that... that no that, lens in between to diffract with. You're not going to get an image of light. You may get an image in the, in the infrared or something else. There is no... Okay. There's nothing in the visible spectrum. The visible spectrum effect of the sun is created by the upper atmosphere. Right. So the Earth, the Earth reflecting off the atmosphere. No, the radiation from the sun. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, I mean, but the thing is, what you see is, you see a, a yellow orb in a blue background because the upper atmosphere actually diffracts right. the light 
into those two spectrums. Right. You don't just see orange against black. I mean, you're you don't just see blues. Right. You know, you always see the yellow and blue. So, if, if I understand it correctly, if I took the pinhole camera and pointed it at the sun, I will get no image. But if I pointed it at the moon or the earth, I would get an image because yep. it's reflecting off. You see the, the objects moon and the that earth. the light reflects off. But the sun, I would get no image unless I was in a different because spectrum. Because you were pointing it right at the source of light. Because you can't, because light is not visible. Right. You cannot see the light. Okay. We, we have been lied to in a, such a wholesale manner about almost the nature of everything. Oh, yeah. That it's. So you can't see, you can't see the stars or anything? No, those are all. Sources. Created, th those are all, Sources. the stars you see are created, the vision of them is created by the upper atmosphere. So the reason the, that the space shuttle, they have that window and they have atmosphere inside the shuttle, that's why when they look outside the No, they, 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 they created diffraction gratings in the window so you could see them. Because the early ones didn't. That was the other thing, is Tom Brown called some of the old astronauts and I asked them. They said no. And what about stars? On the moon, with no atmosphere, they must have been quite a sight to behold. Yet there is seldom any mention of them, if ever, by any of the astronauts on any of the missions. Undoubtedly, creating a mural with all the constellations properly placed in the sky would have been virtually impossible to create accurately, much less realistically. A competent amateur astronomer would have been able to call attention to the slightest error in measurement. The answer? not to talk about the stars, ever. In their post-flight press conference, it was the only question to which Neil Armstrong responded with an absence of memory. When you looked up at the sky, could you actually see the stars and the solar corona in spite of the glare? We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Corolla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. So once again, what NASA says about the sun, the scientific community says about the sun, it's all lies. Basically BS. Hiding the truth. Why? Why is the source of light hidden from everyone? Is it outside of the supposed dome? If the light truly is only visible once it hits the atmosphere or the upper atmosphere, now you have to ask the question, is the source coming from the outside of the dome? Or is it coming from the inside of the dome? Could it be inside the uh, North Pole? Projecting the light outward towards the upper atmosphere and then reflecting the light back. That's just one question. What if? Another if is, is it the same light source that lights both the moon and the sun? Uh, you've probably seen some of the videos done, uh, Crow 777 for one and a few others, where the moonlight appears to be cooler. Um, Eric Dubay seems to think it, or believes that it's it actually has the opposite effect of the, the sun. I don't know if that's true. I haven't done the test myself, but um, the question has to be asked. Is it the same source, but hitting two different um, destinations, thereby causing two different lights? Peter Lindemann is correct. We have been lied to in a wholesale manner. And I don't know the answer to these questions. And I'm just posting this video in hopes of 
someone else coming up with the answers because I don't have them but it is clearly evident that once again we're not being told the truth about the sun and the moon and the light 